let's start the video off with a question. Can you name last 5 to 10 Junior Grand Slam champions? If you can, then congratulations, you are an avid tennis fan. But can you blame people who can do the same? I don't think so. So let's talk about Junior Grand Slams and their importance in the grand scheme of things. Does it feel great to earn the right to be called the best player in the world in your age group? Absolutely, and I would suppose that these types of wins give you confidence to continue your tennis journey, but most of the times it happens only in theory, because in reality these Grand Slams could actually halt players progression, at least in my opinion, because everybody knows that when you are 14 to 18 years old and everything is going your way, you are prone to overconfidence. You are prone to feeling like you are untouchable, you start thinking that your style and profile, limousine, riding jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling and dealing, son of a gun. But in actuality, there is still a long way to go until you become the man. And to put things into perspective, I will present you some statistics that will show you how many junior players do not reach any significant milestones on the pro circuit. In the time span between 2010 and 2019, which is 10 seasons in total, there have been 40 Grand Slam champions. 18 of them won one ATP tournament and only 8 of them have won several ATP titles in their careers. And if you want to feel better about yourself as a junior player, just remember that the Big Four has two boys Grand Slam titles combined. So even if you do not win that coveted Grand Slam, don't feel discouraged and continue your path to success. I also want to talk about a topic of discussion that in a way contradicts my point that I made previously about early success being bad for your career advancement. And the subject of debate is why do junior Grand Slam tournaments participants do not get paid for their achievements? I understand that in a way money can ruin a career even more than any starting from giving those players opportunities to work with the best coaches in the best training facilities in the world. If you don't want to help them financially, then maybe give them a guaranteed spot in the next year's men's tournament. Like how is it not the done thing already if you are not investing into the future stars of the sport? How do you expect them to evolve the beautiful game that is tennis? And in conclusion, I would say that winning a junior Grand Slam should mean much more than it does right now. It should be more of a stepping stone for a great career than it is right now. Junior Grand Slam wins should be considered a monumental achievement, but at this point, it feels like these trophies do not even matter. Maybe there were players who as teenagers you thought were about to become certified stars in tennis, but their careers didn't pan out? Or maybe there have been situations when you thought that player has no bright future ahead of him, but they proved you wrong. Share those experiences down below in the comment section, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more tennis content, and until next time, take it easy my friend.